All right, players, this is what you've all been waiting for. The Japanese government wants to build facilities to temporarily store radioactive soil in the district where the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is located. The environment minister has officially asked local officials for permission. Waiting for you to take it away. One Environment Minister Goshi Hosono on Wednesday met Governor Yuhei Sato of Fukushima Prefecture. Hosono said the Futaba district was chosen for the interim storage sites because areas exposed to over 100 millisieverts of radiation per year are concentrated there. However, the bad news is there's some whammies. Both he said the government will buy or lease land with high radiation levels on a long-term basis to build the sites. The governor said he would discuss the plan with municipalities in the affected district. No whammies! Stop it, oh. The facility would be used to hold radioactive soil removed from the contaminated areas. The government believes the waste would be stored at these sites for up to 30 years before being taken out, of, taken out for final oh, treatment. Stop! Stop at oh. a <laughs> Osono on Wednesday also met with the mayors of eight municipalities of the Futaba district to ask for permission. Oh, it's like being given a serious assignment. The matter concerns the entire district. We must examine it thoroughly. And HK World's Mitsuko Nishikawa joins us with more details. So, Mitsuko, I recall TEPCO issued an interim report on Fukushima accident earlier this month. Right. Now, there's a new report from the government panel. Mm -hmm. How do these probes differ? Well, the TEPCO report was drafted by specialists handpicked by the utility, but the government report comes from an independent committee, so it could be seen as more objective. TEPCO's report did touch on how the meltdowns occurred, but it failed to clarify the root cause of the accident. For the first time, this new report clearly states the Japanese government played a role in making the crisis worse. It says the government wasn't prepared for three disasters, a big earthquake, a tsunami, and a nuclear accident. It says communication was insufficient between the Prime Minister's office and the Crisis Management Center, which was responsible for gathering updated information on Fukushima. What about Tokyo Electric Power Company? What does this report say about TEPCO? Mm -hmm. Well, it explains in detail the errors TEPCO workers made right after the earthquake and tsunami hit Fukushima Daiichi. They were late to respond to the problems with reactor number one. They fell behind in their attempt to cool down the reactor. They failed to use the only workable cooling system called the isolated condenser after the plant lost its major power sources. The condenser uses steam to cool it down, but neither workers, the task force on the site, nor officials at headquarters knew how to operate the condenser at the time of the emergency. But neither workers, the task force on the site, nor officials at headquarters knew how to operate the condenser at the time of the emergency. The report says, as the operator of a nuclear plant, TEPCO's lack of knowledge was extremely inappropriate. It says there could have been ways to slow down the pace of meltdowns and lessen the leakage of radiation outside a plant. So what is the next step to get to the bottom of what happened at mm -hmm. Fukushima Daiichi? Mm -hmm. Well, the Independent Government Committee is scheduled to finalize this report by the summer of 2012 after interviewing officials and ministers who were in charge during the time of the accident. The committee is calling for fundamental and drastic changes to nuclear safety and disaster response policy. Right, HK World's Mitsuko Nishikura reporting for us tonight. Mitsuko, thank you. Appreciate it. Officials have declared a state of emergency. What's happening? Oh, 
hungry. Why don't y'all come on the truck? You look at him again, I'll shoot you in the head. I don't think you killed a man in your life. They're gonna catch up with us. Survive this. 